Hi there, thank you for joining me. This is video three of this series about morning routines. And this video is about how to optimize your results. My name is James Dan from Inner Anthem and let's have a look at this video right now. So optimizing your morning routine. How can you optimize your morning routine? I hope you've got a pen with you so you can take down some notes here. So for video two, what have we learned? We've learned that morning routines can include various components, for example, physical or health-based activities. I gave some examples of exercise and water and supplements and things like that that we can do in our mornings. Mindset and spiritual-based activities. Now, this is where it's, it's you know really great. If you can do some mindset and spiritual-based activities in the mornings, you're really onto a winner. Things like gratitude practices, things like meditation, things like visualization. It could be certain therapies, you know, tapping emotional freedom technique you may or may not have heard of some of those things but there's a lot of different activities that you can actually do that will really 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 not only benefit your day but benefit your life and the third one is day or life planning activities and that's things like looking at your to-do list looking at your goals rewriting your goals you know this is great as well it's great to do in the morning before the stresses of the day so that's what we've learned so far let's talk now about one of the best morning routine activities now there's lots of great activities that you can do in the morning routines but this is one of the best things you can do in the morning are you ready here it is it is gratitude a practice of gratitude now you may or may not already do a gratitude practice but stick around because maybe this will have some different ideas for you as well now there are various options for doing gratitude now to start with let me explain what a gratitude practice is a gratitude practice is basically where you are going through a process of affirming to your minds that you are grateful for your life and the things in your life. So there's a whole range of things you can be grateful for. You can be grateful for your possessions. You can be grateful for your experiences. You can be grateful for the people around you. You know, it's a whole range of things. You can be grateful for your health. You can be grateful uh, for things in the past, things in the future, you know, so many things that you can actually be grateful for. It's beyond the scope of this video to obviously go through everything, but, um, you know, lots of different things that you can be grateful for. Even if you've had a bad day or feel that, you, you know, you, you've had a bad life or something like that, there's still lots of things to be grateful for. If you're watching this video right now, that's something to be grateful for. So, Here's some different options of how you can actually do this gratitude practice. To start with, it could be written gratitude. So you might write down just three things that you're grateful for or 10 things in the morning that you're grateful for. You can do different topics. You know, again, it might be possessions or certain areas of your body that you're grateful for, anything like that, or just, you know, wh whatever comes to mind. I'm, I'm grateful for my husband or my wife. I'm grateful for my children. I'm grateful for the car that I have. I'm grateful that the car started yesterday uh, i'm grateful that i've got this exciting event coming up you know whatever it is you just write them out and you can start with something like i'm so grateful or i'm so happy and grateful whatever works for you i'm so thankful whatever terminology works for you and you just write it out in a written list great if you can have a book to actually do that so i have a gratitude book it's an a4 book and i can look back and see all the things that i'm grateful for and i can see and, and monitor that i'm doing that practice every day so this is part of my morning routine. I actually do this at the minute. Now, if you haven't got a lot of time, now I said that, you know, you might have these challenges in the mornings, you might be having these, these barriers or, or excuses thinking, well, I haven't got the time to do a morning routine, James. Well, well done for still watching, because how about just saying what you're grateful for? Now, you could do this in the shower in the mornings, for example. You can sometimes do this over your noisy kids. And when you're getting the the food ready for your for your pets or whatever it is okay you can still do that you can set yourself little reminders to say out loud or at least feel what you're grateful for it could be on the way to work that can still be classed as a morning routine where you're driving in the car or you're sitting on the train and you think about what you're grateful for so as far as I'm concerned, there's no excuses not to do something. Yes, you might not have that ideal perfect morning routine that you want, but there's 
enough things that you can do to cut down the time to save your time and still get benefits from it. Now, also, you could do a guided gratitude meditation, or I've actually created a specific guided meditation, uh, sorry, guided gratitude practices with music, for example. So anything like that, anything that's guided and you listen, you lie down, you listen or sit down and you listen to it and it guides you through the process, that can be really powerful. And sometimes, again, for a couple of minutes, you can get a much greater feeling of gratitude than just writing it down, although writing it down has a lot of benefits as well so the fact is you can mix and match some days you might do some things what about if you do shift work uh well you might have a plan a and a plan b morning routine this again is how you optimize things this is how you save time this is how you get commitment to it have a plan a have a plan b sometimes maybe in your plan b you're using a guided meditation maybe in your plan c you're just running around so you're just going to say what you're grateful for you know you can do it as you're walking downstairs in the morning to go and get your breakfast so there's always a way of incorporating these things and here's the thing Here's the thing you need to know. Over time, it will compound. Over time, it will build up. It might be that to start with, maybe, yeah, you, you feel great for the next couple of minutes. And then for the rest of the day, you've had what you deem as being a rubbish day. And you think, oh, well, that gratitude exercise didn't work. Guess what? Over time, it compounds and you will have much more benefits from it. So do keep applying it. Start tomorrow or start today. Start with a gratitude practice. That is one of the best things you can do. Now, obviously, there's loads of other activities you can do. It's beyond the scope of this video to go into everything. But I'm hoping there that you've learned some key things as to how you can save time and you know, one of the most important activities you can do, which is grat gratitude. Now, maybe you're still sort of saying, I'm not much of a morning routine person uh, or morning person. So, I, you know, I prefer to do my own thing. You can do it as long as it's beneficial to you. So that's what I say about gratitude. That's fine. Just adapt it to what works for you. You can do something for a few weeks, try a different approach for the next few weeks. That's absolutely fine. OK, but you still want to ensure that you're doing something ideally for your mindset. You're doing something that sets you up in the morning for the rest of your day. So look at that and find out what works. Now, maybe you're saying I lack motivation in the mornings. OK, so how about if you were doing that written gratitude practice and you just started off with writing one thing that you're grateful for? Could you do that? Could you take the first step forward? Yes, you probably could. How long does that take you to do? What, 10 seconds if you've got the book there? Let, let's time it. Here we go. Yeah, uh, write it out. There we go. I'm grateful for this. OK, it's not going to take very long. So just start with that one step and then you can build it up. Once you start to enjoy it, you can start to build it up. But get commitment. Start tomorrow, even if you think you lack motivation, because once you get it into a habit, guess what? The motivation comes in because it is a habit. It seems normal. It seems as normal as having a shower in the mornings or brushing your teeth or having breakfast in the mornings. And how about this one? I do shift work. I get up at varying times. Well, I've, I've already alluded to this. You can have a plan A and a plan B. You can have a, a longer morning routine and a shorter morning routine and really a, a real minute uh, times morning routine. OK, so there's always ways around those things. So would you like a transformation? Would you really like to benefit your, your, your life? Would you like to be less stressed and less anxious? Would you like to be more positive? How about having greater confidence levels? How about enhancing your relationships? Because morning routines have helped me in my relationships. Would you like to improve your health? Morning routines can do that. Would you like to have greater productivity? Stick around, guys. Stick around. Would you like to have a better career or greater business success? Keep watching. Keep watching if you want all these things. Because in the next video, this is our last final video, I'm going to show you a new package of resources that is going to optimize your morning routines and reduce the time needed to carry it out. Does that sound good? Now, I've just alluded to some of the ways you can do that, but this package 
is going to give you lots and lots of tips, tricks, ideas. It's going to educate you on exactly how to do morning routines, how you can best apply it to your life. And it's going to give you the resources that you need as well. It's going to make the whole process easier. So you're going to have a plan, uh, you know, everything you need is there. It's going to give you greater results and life time benefits okay this is what you're going to get so watch out for this next video now don't miss out on the next video because i want to give you access to some to some things one is a very special price so i'm basically going to give you this give you this product that is really a bank of resources that is really going to help your morning routine and it's going to be for a very special price and i'm going to give you some additional special bonuses as well so my name is james dan from inner anthem i am someone that has helped a whole range of people i've worked with thousands of people over my lifetime but maybe more importantly i am someone that's applied morning routines to my life they've helped me they've helped the people that i've worked with and are in communication with I want it to help you as well. I would love it to benefit you as well. And I'm someone again, that has to work my morning routine around my family, around my children, et cetera. And this package is gonna help you do just that as well. So I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Make sure you look out for it. In the meantime, write a comment below. I'd love to hear what you've learned from this video. My name is James Dan from Inner Anthem and I hope you have an amazing day.